little smoky in here. What is that, though? The heater? The dryer? What's happening? What's up, everybody? You are watching Having a Bowl with Rob. That's right. You read the title correctly. You may remember the series that I had prior having a beer with Rob. Well, let me tell you, that wasn't working out. Nobody could see the video because it had beer in the title. I thought that was super unfair. If you take a look at an average video over here, it's got 600, 500,000 views, and then next to it, you have these Having a Beer with Rob episodes, and there's it's sh Somebody suggested in the comments having a bowl with Rob, and I said, that is a fantastic idea. And bowl in the description, 10 times better than beer. So today we are starting a whole new show, having a bowl with Rob. It's where me, I, myself, uh, am down here in my basement with you, of course, uh, having a bowl, which uh, today we are gonna be, uh, we're gonna be having some Cocoa Pebbles. What do we got on here, huh? Anything fun? God damn it, remember these things? Yabba dabba do! Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah. Mmm, get your milk going on over here. The best part about Cocoa Pebbles, it turns your milk chocolatey. It's f***ing genius. There we go. Cheers to you guys. Mmm, so good. Alright, let's get started with it. Are we ready? Hold on, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Let's just get straight to it. We're living in a real, we're living in a real f***ing show. There's a lot of things going on. The doomsday clock just hit two and a half minutes to midnight. If you don't know what that is, look that shit up, because we are f***ed. Global warming, North Korea, Donald Trump f***ing mad cow disease, the bird flu, greenhouse gases, pandemics, black holes, the polar ice caps are melting, zombies, nuclear fallout, the f***ing potential that aliens are just gonna come down and zap the shit out of us at any moment. It's a madhouse out there, and you've got to be prepared for every single situation. I kind of feel safe down here in my basement, but not really. Oh, damn. Check out this chocolate milk. Mmm. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Would you like any of this? I forgot to pass the bowl. Here, let me... <laughs> I'm such an idiot. There you go. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. I hate when people don't pass the bowl. It's all about the rotation. Sp <laughs> spoon, spoon, pass. Mother... The big question is, are you f***ing prepared? Do you have enough water, guns, food supplies, helicopters, boats, whatever you need to get the f*** out of, of wherever you're at, which hopefully is not any kind of large city. If you are watching this and you live in New York City or Los Angeles or Dallas or Chicago or Miami, you're you're not getting out. Woo, boy, getting out of a city, that's gonna be a big one. I wish you all luck. The more the population, the more it spreads, whatever it is. Zombies, disease, uh, all the scientists and all these people that are running all these uh, imaginary apocalypse scenarios, they're saying the best place to go, head for the hills, the mountains. You gotta get a bunker. I was looking at bunkers the other day. Uh, the backyard bunker, $46,000, $47,000 or some like that. Get it installed in your backyard backyard and you are set air purification filters sanitation uh toilets the whole f***ing deal so that's an investment that is something that everybody needs this f***ing basement isn't gonna do shit. everybody knows i'm down here you all know i'm down here oh i'm getting low here let me pack another, pack another bowl here cocoa pebbles oh all right where were we mm. Mm. That's what I need. That's what everybody needs. Everyone needs a goddamn bunker because she's gonna get f***ing nuts out there. Worrying about zombies and the disease, that's just the first part of it. The second part is surviving the renegade outlaws, crazy militaristic f***ing lunatics out there who are going to survive, who have the bunkers, who have the guns, who are gonna be the only ones left that repopulate and restructure the entire world. They're all f***ing nuts. Oh my god. We're gonna have to deal with so much sh** if we survive. Trust me, you're not gonna like me in the f***ing apocalypse. I'm ready to f***ing take down whoever's in my way. I don't give a f You gotta look out for f***ing yourself during the apocalypse. If you got a box of f***ing cocoa pebbles out there, I'm gonna get it from you one way or the other. By whatever means, there's no time for manners and f***ing etiquette in the f***ing post-apocalyptic non-cocoa pebble world. 
and we're not prepared. Not just me, <laughs> I'm not prepared. You know who is prepared though? The government. The government is absolutely prepared for all that shit. They got the bunkers, they got the arcs, they got the special mountain and hideaway retreats, which by the way, how do you get a ticket into one of those places? You know what I mean? How do we get into the special bunkers? That's what I need to know. Who's dick do I need to suck to get into one of those things. I'm a YouTube celebrity. Get me in there. Mm, chocolate milk. Mm, mm. That's sweet, sweet chocolate milk. Here's a crazy thing. I'm about to blow your mind. First off, do you even know who the Flintstones are? If you don't know, they are the ones right here on the Cocoa Pebble box. Fred and Barney. They don't make cartoons anymore. Fred and Barney, these are just two cavemen on the box to you. You have no reference to this, do you? Do you know who the Flintstones are? Flintstoned is more like it. Speaking of... Oh, so what I, this is what I was saying. There is a theory. This is about to f***ing blow your mind. You ready for it? That the Flintstones are not prehistoric. That the Flintstones timeline actually takes place in the future once the entire world has ended and we literally have been bombed back into the Stone Age. It all makes sense. I read this article in Crack.com. First off, they've got all of the modern conveniences. They're watching TV. Uh, they've got record players. They have very complicated money systems in place. They celebrate Christmas, which is a holiday prefabricated post prehistoric times. Explain that sh but what's even more f***ed up? Run by the Illuminati. They got the money with the triangles on it. They got their special club where they wear the hats and the horns. This is not a f***ing coincidence. Look it up. Flintstones conspiracy theory. Ugh. Getting a little soggy over here. You know what that means. It means I need to get another bowl of cereal. I'll be right back. What was I talking about? All the f***ing ways, all the ways that we can die. There's so many. We're the only species on the planet that know that we're doomed. Isn't that f***ing crazy? Every other species just thinks they're f***ing stupid enough that they're gonna live forever. They don't know that imminent f***ing death is approaching at any moment. Did they teach you anything in school about the Black Plague? That sh wiped out one third of the world. That sh is right around the corner. We are due for it any moment. And what is that fing other thing? The Hadron Collider, Hadron Collider? There's a group of scientists in the middle of the fing desert that are building a black hole. If they created one and fing something went wrong, everything could be fing black holed out of here within a millisecond. Black hole. We wouldn't even feel it. We wouldn't even know it. Every particle, every atom would just explode. Happening right here in America. Sorry, just the, the sh** you talk about over a bowl. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> this is some good stuff, huh? Give me a bowl of this any day. Oh, this isn't gonna get through the algorithm. Well, my cereal uh, has gotten beyond soggy. It's now like a paste at this point, which means that that's the end of the show. We did it. That was the first episode of having a bowl with Rob. Uh, please, down below, suggest what else I should be having a bowl of, or what other cereal I should be having uh, and, and eating here on the show, um, and what topics you want me to talk about uh, after having a bowl or two. <laughs> oh, f that's enough of this. Um, if you want, you can subscribe. You know, I don't want to twist your arm, but if you could do that, that would be awesome. Uh, I don't. Is this channel up to 1.1? 1 million subscribers yet? Get it up to 1.2 million subscribers. Just f***ing subscribe. Like up this video. Why not? You know? What else you gotta do today? I will see you, uh, I'll see you around here next time for another Having a Bowl with Rob. Till then, see ya! Oh, I don't want to get up. Click on this other video. I'm sure it's important. I'm sure it's a video that I would like you to, to watch if you haven't seen it already. And subscribe. There's a button somewhere around here just to f subscribe to the channel. Click it. Maybe it's over here. I don't know.